What's up, freaks? It is free boxing time. We're getting set up for one hour of non-stop punching, kicking. Actually, today there is no kicking, but it's just today just punching, cardio, movement, footwork. And I'll be doing all the combinations, all the movements here up front with you so you can see the techniques. There is going to be a lot of footwork today, a lot of movement, specific ways that you need to move your feet. So a lot of the times, you'll look back at the freaks that are behind me on the bags to see the footwork, but also at times, I'm going to step way back here so that you can see my feet a little better. Because the way that the camera goes, you got to step really far away to be able to see your entire body here on the Facebooks without doing the camera up and down. So there's going to be a lot of footwork, but you'll get it down. Once you, once you get down here in the warm-up and you see how the footwork's going to go, you'll see it's pretty simple, pretty easy. Check down there in the bottom in the comments. Just write in live. If you're, if you're following along with us live, if you're watching this on a recording, just, put on, just type in replay if you're watching this during the recording later on because this will be up forever out there on the internet. So we're going to be doing a full warm-up here. You're going to get full basic techni techniques down. A lot of specific footwork. But once we get the footwork, you won't need to see my feet the entire time because you'll understand how it goes. We're going to take the time in the beginning to warm up the footwork. So before we even go into any of our basic punches, we're going to go over the footwork. We're just also going to help get you warmed up in your legs as we take our time to go slowly through the way that you're going to move your feet, the way that you're going to move around. Because this workout is going to be all about moving in and out with correct, proper, specific footwork. Kristen Schneider is here with us live. Follow along, nice. All right, so in your stance, now I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna step back at times, so I'm gonna, I'll, I'll talk a little louder so make sure you can hear me. When I'm stepping back, this, you can see my feet. But your stance is gonna start with your left leg forward. Don't forget this is Facebook, so this is my left side. Over here is my right side. Think of it like a, a mirror. So your footwork, your stance, first of all, your front leg, your lead leg is your left leg. This is if you're righty. If you're lefty, you're gonna do everything the opposite the way I'm saying. So you're gonna put your left leg forward, and your right leg back. That's your basic stance. Your elbows are up and in, in at your ribs, your chin is tucked, your knuckles are up by your cheekbones. Now we say put your hands at your chin, but it's not really your chin. You're putting them a little higher up because you want to protect your face and you want to keep your elbows tucked in. But let's focus on the freaking footwork. So left leg is forward, right leg is back, right? So whatever direction we're moving, if I'm moving backwards, so if you see my stance, where my feet are, Whatever direction I move, that foot's going to move first. So if I'm moving forward, my front foot moves first, and then my back foot closes the distance. So if I'm moving forward, my left foot moves first, back foot closes the distance. So just walk that out with me. We're just getting loosened up, getting a feel of the footwork. While you're doing it, keep your hands up. Even if I'm not, because I'm pointing in different directions, always keep your hands up. If I'm moving backwards, my back foot's going to go first, and then my front foot will close the distance. So right now, we're just going to walk it out. Just walk it out. So again, front foot goes first when I'm going forward. So if you can see the feet back here, her feet are never coming close together. You can see her front foot is moving forward and then the back foot is, is closing the distance. So the feet are never touching. You're just in a basic stance. Say your feet are this far apart. You'd be stepping back and then back to where you started. Back, back to where you started. So they're never coming close together, your feet. Very important. I mean, that's what we're gonna stress this and take the time here in the beginning for the warm up. So now let's go to the left. When we're going to move it to our left, I'll start over here for you. When we're moving to our left, our left foot will move first, and then our right foot just closes the distance. When we go to our right, our right foot moves first, and the left foot closes the distance. So again, if our feet are this far apart, left foot moves here, just two inches, right foot two inches, left foot two inches, two inches, on the balls of your feet. So it's not like you're here. You don't want to move your right foot first when you're moving to your left, because your right foot's going to come and touch, right? So you need to be moving to the side. So let's go a little skip on that. Let's go backwards. So a back foot. Leads away, let's move forward. Let's get a little bounce to it. To the right, back to the left. Hands are up the whole time. Maintaining that footwork. Back, the right leg leads, you're going back. The left leg leads, you're going forward. Got a little midget behind me, ready to trip me. Knock me over, I'm gonna get run over out here. This is like a dangerous crossing. So here, take a look at them moving. You could see the Russian's feet never coming closer together than the basic stance. You can see her feet, a Russian wearing an Italian hat. This is just confusing the hell out of me. So you can see her feet, look at her feet. Focus on those feet. If I can get my finger in there. Right there, look at the feet. Never coming closer together than the basic stance. The hands are up, staying the whole, the whole time. The eyes are forward on the target. But if you can notice, there's always space in between her feet. So they're never coming close together. You always have balance. All right, so now I'm gonna call it out. 
and you just follow along with me with that footwork. So when I say back, you shuffle back. I say forward, you shuffle forward, left and right. Simple stuff. So just listen to my voice, this annoying voice. Wow. Backwards, back, go, back. Forward. And if you don't have space, run into a wall. Go through a wall. Back, left, right, back, forward, left, back, forward, left, right, back, forward, left. Keep going, right, back, forward, left. You can see your feet never coming close together. Right, back, forward, changing on the fly. I still sit forward, I don't know why we're stopping. Back, left, forward. You can see those feet never coming closer together in that basic stance. What's up, Alex? Back, right. Tyson's off the screen, he flew off the screen. This little camera can't contain him. Facebook can't contain Tyson. Little freak shows running into walls. And time, all right, recenter yourself. So here's what you're gonna do now. Pay attention. If my arms do this, I want you to go forward. If they do this, I want you to go back. If they do this, I want you to go left. If they do this, I want you to go right. So the first round you were responding with your ears when you're listening. Now you're gonna respond visually. Different ways your reaction is gonna work. So let's start. That's forward. That's back. That's right. Left. Back. React, react. Don't hesitate. Don't wait for a sound. React into movement. Anyone tuning in right now thinks I'm like a freaking air traffic controller. They're like, what is this idiot doing? <laughs> they either think I'm an air traffic controller or I'm doing the freaking Macarena. And time. All right, so you get the point of the footwork. The point is you can move and flow with your feet never coming close together, whatever direction you're moving. So my feet, you can't see them there, but they're never coming close together. They're never touching, so you're always maintaining your balance. But that's also just be getting your feet and your legs warmed up. But they're, they're moving now, so let's get them stretched. Stretch that quad. Bring your heel to your glute. Hold it for one to three seconds and switch. Are all three of you gonna stand right behind me? I'll just go long way. We are right here. You got a nice, you got a nice long camera. And then everyone tries to hide behind me. Alternate quad stretches. One to three seconds. Bring that knee up to your chest. Knee hug. Bring it up. Alternating on your own. Just getting those hips and legs. Be a lot. You're gonna be doing that footwork we just did throughout this entire workout. So we're taking our time to learn the footwork and to get stressed out. Let's get those shoulders loosened up for those punches. Forward shoulder circles while we're walking forward. Backwards shoulder circles where we're watching backwards. Ooh, I almost got knocked out by the little one. She packs a punch. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Forward shoulder circles while you're walking forward. I'm surrounded by a bunch of wise asses. They purposely go out of their way to whack me and smack me all over the place. Forward, I can't imagine where they get it from. Forward shoulder circles forward, backwards. All right, now in and out with the shoulders, just fling them. Right on my top. Left arm on top. While you're still moving the feet, just kind of step into place, getting ready to rock. And catch it for a quick stretch. We're just getting loosened up. We got a long way to go. Fling it, catch it. Fling it, catch it. One more time each side. Yes. And time. All right, let's go into our basic punches. Let's go through all of our basic punches real quick. I'm gonna get a little closer for this one. So you can see the technique of the upper body. You'll look back there at their feet, out to my right side and left side, so you can see how their lower bodies are moving and pivoting with the punches. So let's get those hands up, let's get in that stance, get your rhythm, get your flow, get your bounce. Let's start with just our one, two. Our one is our straight left, our two is our straight right. So let's put those two, two together right off the bat. One, two. Don't forget, one is straight left, two is straight right. On that right, turn your body. Whip your hip, pivot that right foot. One, two. Right down the middle. Straight left, straight right. Boom. One, two. There it is. Little flow, little bounce in your step. One, two. You want to breathe it out for each punch. There it is. Right down the middle. One, two. Don't forget, one is straight left, 
Two is straight right. All right, switch it up to a two, one. So you're going straight right first, snap into that straight left. Just to get those punches down. Two, one. Light on your feet. Bounce around, little flow, little rhythm. Two, one. All right, good, let's go with a three, four. Three is our left hook. Four is our right hook. Put those two together. Three, four. Just getting rolling. Turn that body. You can see back there, pivoting, pivoting her feet on that three, four. Turning the body. Turning the hips. So when you're throwing that left hook, you want to pivot your left foot. When you're throwing the right hook, you want to pivot your right foot. Three, four. Hook, hook. Right there. Three, four. A little bounce in your step. And let's go to a four, three. Four is the right hook. Three is your left hook. Four, three. Turn into it. There it is. Bounce. Flow. Boom. Boom. There's our three and our four. A four and our three. Shake those arms out. Shake those arms out. We're going to go with a five, six. Five is your left uppercut. Six is your right uppercut. So five, six. Twist that body. Twist your waist. Get your lats into it. Your obliques. Crunching your body. Five, six. Five, six. Twist. Five is left uppercut. Six is right uppercut. It should be boom, boom right there. Bounce. Blow. Rhythm in between. Boom, boom. There it is. Twist. Breathe out for each one. Five, six. All right, let's go with a six, five. Bang it out. That's right uppercut, left uppercut. Six, five. Dig it, dig it, dig it. Boom. Six, five. The body into it, twist it. Boom, boom. Yes. Five, six. And that was a six, five. Shake those arms out. All right, so we're going to start off with those same basic comp, comp punches, except we're going to have a lot of footwork here. The end of each combo, we're going to add a double jab. That's a 1-1, one, because one, we're going to be doing a lot of footwork. So what I like to do after a combo, so I'm going to throw a 1-2. After that, we're going to pop, pop, and, and we're going to get away. So you're going to use your footwork to shuffle in, throw our combo, which is a 1-2. You're going to throw a double jab, and then get out. You're going to throw a double jab while you're stepping to the left. So I'm doing a 1-2. Pop, pop, and shuffle out. So I'm kind of circling around. Come back in, one, two, pop, pop, and circle out. So look on the bag, how that's going. She's shuffling in, one, two, and then a double jab to get out. Double jab while you're circling left. Watch Tyson do it, come in, one, two, then a double jab, circling, and then out. When you're doing that double jab, pop, pop. We're gonna be throwing a double jab after every single combo today, just as a parting gift for our opponent there. So come in, one, two, pop, pop, double jab, shuffle out. I want you to shuffle as far as you can. As much space as you have to shuffle. I want those legs working today. I want you to get some mileage. Get your step count up today. So come in, one, two, double jab, and shuffle out. Shuffle back in, using that footwork that we just talked about. Using that footwork we were working on. So one, two, pop, pop. Shuffle way out and around. Come back in. One, two, pop, pop, and get out. So again, the combo is a one, two, straight left, straight right. After that, it's a double jab while you're kind of circling to the left, and get away. Come back to the right, come back around. So think of yourself looping in a big rectangle, big oval, in and out. So come in, one, two, pop, pop, shuffle out and around. Zip back in, pop, pop. I just like that double jab. Just stick that double jab in there just for fun. An extra little pop to the nose before you get out. And shuffle it out and around. We're doing a lot of footwork. We're doing a lot of work for each combo. So make that one, two count. Pop, pop as you exit. Keep those hands up while you're moving. Focus on that footwork. One, two, pop, pop. Circle out and around. A lot of footwork going on. A lot of movement. It's only one combo every few few seconds, so it's gonna be a decent amount of time for these rounds. And shuffle out. Back in. Pop, pop. Boom, boom. And get out. 
combo is a one, two. Again, the one, two, slow down if you don't have it yet. One, two, that's your straight left, straight right, then just the one, one to get out. Just think of the combo as a one, two, because every combo today is gonna have that one, one at the end, just to stick it out there. So it's one, two, one, one. Shuffle out and around, footwork. I want you moving, I want you getting your step count up. Getting some mileage in today. Zip in, one, two, pop, pop, out and around, and time. Nice, our combo, we're staying with two punch combos for now, keeping it simple. So much going on, so much movement, so much footwork, and you're adding that double jab at the end, all we need to do is start off as two punch combo. So now we're gonna go with a two, three. Straight right, left hook, just practice that once or twice in the air. That's straight right, left hook. Two, three, two, three. Now we're gonna play that same game with that circling. So you're gonna shuffle in, shuffle in, pivot those feet, turn the body on the two, three, pop, pop, and shuffle out. Get on your horse, shuffle in, two, three, pop, pop. Shuffle out, I want lots of footwork today. Shuffle in, and shuffle it out. Let's see Tyson getting it done over there. On the blue bag. So he's got a two, three. Circle to your left with the double jab with that one, one. After you throw the two, three. Two, three right here. Now circle while you're throwing the one, one. Step to your left while you're throwing it. So it's a two, three. Pop, pop. Circle around and get out. Then you come all the way to the right. Move back around. Think of a big loop. You're looping around the room to throw those combos. Straight right, left hook. Pop, pop, shuffle around, zip in, two is straight right, three is left hook, double jab, circle it around, even when you're going backwards, once you know your settings and where you're at, try not to look over your shoulder, I know you might want to get a couch, a table, a human, a dog, a cat, a goat, something might be in your way, just get, pay, have situational awareness, keep it safe, pop, pop, and shuffle out, hands up while you're moving, while you're shuffling, Two, three, one, one, shuffle out, out and around. I want a lot of footwork here today. I want your feet moving, feet moving. Two, three, pop, pop, zip. Oh, we're circling around each other, I like it. Two, three is your straight right, left hook, and you're always exiting with that double jab. It's just a parting gift. You did your damage with the two, three, boom, boom. Then it's just pop, pop as you make your escape. Get out, regroup, come back in for the boom, boom. Pop, pop, and get out. Look at your feet, your feet should be closing distance, quick, moving. A lot of footwork. Two, three, pop, pop. Shuffle it around. Don't forget, two is a straight right, three is your left hook, you're on Facebook, so it's a mirror. And time. Shake those arms out, stretch those legs. A lot of footwork, we're gonna be moving all day on these rounds. All day has some kind of footwork. This is only the first variation of footwork we got. More coming up after this. Next combo, we did one, two, we did two, three. What do you think we got? Three, four. Three, four, simple stuff, follow right along. It's all just a big game. It all makes sense. Each piece sets up the next piece. So three, four. Three, let's practice it a couple times in the air. Three is your left hook, four is your right hook. Three, four. Three, four. Left hook, right hook, reset. All right, let's do it. Same game, that one, one to exit out. So shuffle in, left hook, right hook, pop, pop with that double straight left. Get out and around as far as you can get from your target, from your phone, from your camera, from your TV, whatever the heck you're watching on. Tyson's doing a massive loop around the whole freaking area. So come in. See, that double jab is just helping you exit. It's just giving you that distance to regroup. You're coming in, boom, boom, and you want to get out, hop, hop, and now I'm out. Just give me that distance while I get out, keeping me safe. Of course, my other hand is staying up while you're doing that left jab. Three, four, pop, pop, shuffle out. Three, four, pop, pop, and shuffle. Light on your feet, bouncing your step. Boom, boom. Pop, pop, shuffle. 
Back in. Don't forget to pivot to turn your body. Turn your body. So let's look at the Russian's feet there, pivoting on those hooks. And then a double jab, shuffle out. Look at the feet on the footwork. Never come closer together than the basic stance. Look at the hooks, the feet pivoting. So whatever hand is punching on that hook, you're pivoting that foot. It's like your body swinging like a door on a hinge. Let's do it. Three, four, pop, pop, shuffle. Hands up while you're moving. Head moving. And out and time. So we did one, two, we did two, three, we did three, four. You should be getting out of breath if you're moving with purpose, moving with uh, some intention. That's how you should be doing it. Moving with a sense of urgency. All right, next, we just did three, four. Now we have four, five. So what you're gonna do is shuffle in towards the bag, hit your four, your right hook, five left upper, hit that double jab stepping to your left, that straight left double, shuffle out. Look when I get back here, I'm coming back around to my right. So I'm coming in on the right side of my target, hitting my combo, jabbing my way across and exiting out the left side. So there's all kinds of movement going on, all kinds of footwork going on, getting in, doing your damage and getting out safely with a little parting gift of a double stiff jab right in the face. Let's do it. Four, five, pop, pop, and shuffle. Back in. Four, five, again, don't forget, four is the right hook. Five is the left uppercut, then double jab is just a double straight left. That's a one, one, and shuffle out. Don't forget whatever direction you're moving, that foot moves first on the shuffle. When I'm moving forward, my left foot moves first, my right foot closes the distance. Four, five, pop, pop, shuffle out. Zip it around, zip back in. Zip it around, just follow me, loop it around the room. Loop it around the house. Let's check out the technique over there. Watch the footwork of the Russian, feet never coming close together. Watch Tyson on those hooks, pivoting his feet on the blue bag, comes in on the right side. Four, five, he steps to the left. Each one of those straight lefts is a step, step on the balls of your feet. So it's just as you're shuffling to the left in your boxing stance. Four, five, pop, pop while you're moving to the left. So we're moving target, we're all over the place. We're zipping in, boom, boom, pop, pop. Get out. Time. All right, let's roll. Last one for this segment. We did one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five. Final one is a five. Six, five, six. That's a left uppercut, right uppercut. Practice it once or twice in the air. Just to make sure you got the combo down. Five, six. That's left upper, right upper. Get your abs into it, your obliques. Crunch into it. All right, let's do it. Let's play a game. Same game. We're shuffling in on the right side. Hit your left upper, your right upper. That's your five, six. Your double jab to the left. And shuffle out, way out there. Get those feet working. Zip in and zip it around. Big loop around. Coming down that right side. Five, six, one, one. Shuffle out. Shuffle to the right. Back in on that right side. And loop it around. Yes. Shuffle with a pop, pop. Loop it around, hands up the whole time. Come in, five, six, pop, pop. And move. Zip it out and around. Watch their technique. Watch their footwork. Their feet never come close together in the basic stance. Whatever hand's not punching stays up at the chin. Dig, 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 turn the body into those punches. Breathe. Light on your feet, on the balance in your step. On your balls of your feet for those for that for that footwork, for that movement. And time. 
All right, we're gonna do all those same two punch combos. We're just gonna do the reverse of them, but we're gonna do them with pivots instead of shuffling in and out. So I'm gonna step back from it. All we're gonna do is a quarter pivot, a quarter turn. So I'm here. I'm gonna pivot off my front leg like it's a compass. I'll step back in a minute to show you. All I'm gonna do is a 90 degree turn. Here, throw my one, two. Here, throw my one, two. So I'm getting to the left, throw my one, two. So I'm to the front, throw my one, two. Now I'm gonna pivot this way. But I'm always pointing my left foot into the ground like it's a compass, drawing compass. So I'm coming 90 degrees here. One, two. Pivot here. One, two. It's a 90 degree turn. So I get back to here. Once I get to here, I'll start going the other way. So I'm going to 360 with four stops clockwise. 360, four stops clockwise. The combo is just a one, two. That's it. Just a one, two. Don't worry about the extra double jab here. That was only for our footwork. So I'm going to step back, way back there so you can see my feet. Actually, I'm gonna lower this camera right here for just for now, so you can see my feet a little bit better. So here's, I'm throwing a one, two. I'm gonna keep this foot dug into the ground and just spin. See, now I'm in my stance facing the right, a one, two here. So my left foot never came off the floor. Bam, one, two, bam, one, two. Now I'm gonna swing counterclockwise, 90 degrees, one, two. 90 degrees, one, two. 90 degrees, one, two. So you can't see, couldn't see my hands ever. You saw how the feet are going. Get this back up top. All right, let's do it. So now you're just actually staying in place with that one, two. Just trying to get the right angle here after we switch so you can see my stinky feet. All right, so one, two, pivot. One, two, pivot. Pivot, one, two, pivot. Once I get back to my original direction, 90 degrees here. Pivot. Pivot. Back to my original direction, and I'm gonna swing back to clockwise. So let's take a look back there. See their left foot is staying in place. It doesn't move on the floor. They are just turning a quarter turn, 90 degrees. Throwing that one-two column. Make sure you're pivoting on the two when you're throwing the two on that one-two. But look at that front left leg. Not moving, not budging. So I'm here, quarter turn. Quarter turn, quarter turn, quarter turn, one, two. Now the other way, quarter turn, one, two. Quarter turn, one, two. Quarter turn, one, two. Back home, one, two. Back the other way. So you can see when we're moving around the floor, there's times where you need to pivot and pivot this way because you're moving with your target, with your opponent, with your enemy. So you need to be able to maintain your balance and go shh, shh, shh. Take up the pace there for those. Full speed for that one, two. And time. Same game, going right into a two, three. Two, three, pivoting on that left foot. Four to turn. Two, three, pivot, pivot, pivot. Now the other direction. Pivot, straight right, left hook. That left foot. You're going off that ball, that left foot, the entire time. That's what's pivoting you around. That's what's spinning around. That lead, left, leg. Now the other way. And if you overstep one and go more than 90 degrees, who cares? Just punch, pick it up on the next one. Let's do it. Two, three. Pivot. Pivot. Don't forget these punches. You should also be pivoting, pivoting, turning the hips. Time. Same game. Pivoting with a 3-4. Three, 3-4. Four. Three, four. So 3 is our left hook. 4 is our right hook. 3-4. Pivot. I said we're going to do opposite combos. We'll get the opposites next time. 3-4. Pivot, three, four, pivot, boom, boom. 
Let's do it. Let's see them doing it back there. See her left leg is staying in place. Watch as she throws the hooks. Her weight is still shifting side to side. Still pivoting on those punches and then also pivoting for the movements. Look at the left leg. The left leg is never moving. It's like a, a drawing compass that you'd use in math class in like the 80s. If they even still use those anymore, I don't even know. I know you make a perfect circle with it. So we're on three, four, pivot. 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 Back home. Three, four, now pivot the other way. Hard punches. Other direction. Keep rotating direction. 360 one way. 360 the other way. Keeping it moving. Look at that footwork. Yes. Time. All right, we're going right to the next combo. We did one, two, two, three, three, four. Now we got four, five. You know the pivots, we're gonna go right to it. Don't forget, four is your right hook, five is your left uppercut. Four, five, pivot. Find a rhythm, find a flow. And you can change direction whenever you want. It doesn't have to be after one full circle. I'm gonna go two or three times, same direction, just to get a flow going. Up three times, two times, whatever. Now we're gonna go the other direction, counterclockwise. Four, five, pivot. Four, five, pivot. Four, five, pivot. Four, five. Dig those, dig those. Watch your punching. Watch your left foot pivoting. Twisting off of that lead left foot. Spinning 360, 90 degree turn before throwing each combo. Yes. Four, five, turn. And time, right into the five, six. We know five is left upper, six is right upper, and then pivot. Pivot, five, six, pivot, five, six, pivot. Pivot back home, let's go the other direction. Left upper, right upper is your five, six. If you're going full speed, you should be getting out of breath. Your legs should be working. Getting that blood flowing. You should be getting into body temperature up there. You should be sweating. Five, six, pivot. Pivot. Boom. Pop, pop. Pivot. Boom, boom. Keep turning. Let's go the other direction. And time, shake those out, shake them out. Shake those arms out. All right, we're gonna repeat those same five combinations with several different exercises. We're gonna start with a squat thrust, rotating through all five of those combos. So that means it's, we're gonna do a squat thrust, one, two. Squat thrust, two, three. Squat thrust, three, four. Squat thrust, four, five. Squat thrust, five, six. And then back around to the beginning. So this whole round is just, the exercise stays the same. We're gonna rotate those five different two punch combos we did. We ready to roll? Yeah! Woo! Yeah, let's so jump out to the left and the right. That'd be excellent. All right, so we're gonna hit a squat thrust. Down, out, in, up. One, two. Squat thrust. Two, if you have a bag, do the bag. Two, three. Squat thrust. Three, four. Squat thrust. Four, five, squat thrust, five, six, back to the beginning, one, two, two, three, hard punches when you come up, three, four, go at your own pace if you have to, four, five, five, six, rotate it around, don't worry about staying with us, go at your own pace. See, down, out, in, and up, two punches. Just rotating between the one, two, 
two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six. Squat thrust in between each. Squat thrust. One, two. Squat thrust. Three, four. Squat thrust. Five, six. Let's go 30 more seconds. All the way to the beginning. One, two. Two, three. Three, four. Four, five. Five, six. One more time through. One, two. Two, three. Three, four. Four, five. Last one. Five, six. Shake it out. All right. We're going to go up to three punch combos. Back to that first type of round. If you're not out of breath, you're doing something wrong. I'm out of breath. My heart is pumping. If you're moving as fast as you can, that down, not end up in two punches. You should be out of breath right now. So we're going to go to three punch combos. Back to that shuffling footwork. I'm going to adjust the camera just a drop. So don't forget, we're shuffling in on the right. Our combo is just a one, two, three. Back to that double jab, pop, pop. Shuffle all the way out, around to the right. Shuffle back in. We got it? So shuffle in, let's do it. So straight left, straight right, left hook. One, two, three. Pop, pop. Shuffle around. Shuffle back in. One, two, three. Shuffle it around. Come back in. One, two, three. Pop, pop. Shuffle it around. Use those feet. Watch their footwork. How their feet are never coming close together. Get their hands staying up while they're moving. Light on their feet. On the balls of their feet for the movement. And the feet are never coming close together. You're coming in, one, two, three, pop, pop. Shuffle around to the right, back in on that right side, zip. Shuffle it around, maintaining your footwork. One, one, shuffle it around, oh yeah. Shuffle it in. A lot of footwork, you're getting your mileage up today. You're getting that step count up today. I want 10,000 steps. In this workout, I want 10,000 steps. Get on your horse. Keep freaking moving. Look at them moving in and out. Banging, circling to the left with that left jab, shuffling out, looping it back around. Shuffle around, hands up, shuffle back in. One, two, three, pop, pop. Hands up, zip out, zip in. Pop, pop. Yes, your legs are working. Time. Around. This little kid is dancing circles around me, making me look slow as molasses. Kid is zipping the circles around me. I can't keep up with him. All right, we just did a one, two, three. Next combo, it's going right down the line. We're keeping the combo simple because there's so much other dynamic movement going on. So now we're on two, three, four. Just practice that a couple times in the air, make sure you got it. Two is your straight right, three is your left hook, four is your right hook. Two, three, four. Straight right, left hook, right hook. Same shuffle game going on. That same double jab to make your exit. Let's go in three, two, one, boom. Let's do it. Two, three, four, pop, pop. Shuffle out. Zip out, hands up. Zip back in. Two, three, four. Again, that's a straight right. 
left hook, right hook, then double jab as you circle left, shuffle out, shuffle around, enter on the right, two, three, four, jab to your left, exit left, shuffle around right, exit, in, enter right, zip it around, oh yeah. Circling around on the balls of your feet. Boom, boom, boom. Pop, pop, exit. Zip in, enter, boom, boom, boom. Pop, pop, exit, loop it around. Oh yeah. Straight, hook, hook. Pop that double jab, zip out. Let's do it. Two, three, four. Left step for two left jabs. Shuffle out. Let's check out their footwork. See their feet never coming close together. Hands staying up. Light on their feet. Look at those feet staying apart, spaced apart the entire time. A little bounce in your step. Light on your feet, little rhythm. Two, three, four, pop, pop, zip out. Circle around, zip in, and pop it around. And time! We did a one, two, three. We did a two, three, four. Next is a three, four, five. Look at that, without even thinking. Not even knowing what this work it is, not like he planned it, it's just following right along the trail, three, four, five. And I'm putting them on the spot. And as I use this as an excuse to give you a break to catch your breath, I use it as an excuse for a break to catch my breath. If you're not having someone hold you accountable to put you on the spot, to call you out on your bullshit, you're missing out. You need to have that. You need to have someone that's willing to do that for you and doing it not to be a jerk, not to be an ass, not, not to make you look bad, but to make you step up your game. To take your game to the next level. To make, your shame, stay, make sure you're staying sharp. Make sure you're staying focused. Now, I'm not asking him that, hoping he gets it wrong. I'm assuming he's probably going to get it right. But I'd say it's a check, so he knows to stay focused. You should be staying laser beam focused everything you're doing. How you do anything is how you do everything. Don't forget that. If you're always on your A game, you never have to get on your A game. No matter what crisis comes around, no matter what situation comes around, if you're always on your A game, you never have to get on your A game. So if you're always focused and sharp, like right there, what combo's next? He's never done this workout before. This workout has actually never been done before. This workout exists nowhere. It's in my head and in my notebook. That's it from just today. But if you're focused and you're in, in tune with what you're doing and self-aware and have situational awareness, you'll know what the hell's going on in your life and you'll be focused and you'll be successful and you'll make it through no matter how crazy things get because you're always on your freaking A game. And that's what my little man does. Nice work. Nice work. Thank you. All right, now I forgot what the combo was. What was it again? Three, four, five. Look at that, I even forgot he reminded me again. Three, four, five. Don't forget, three is your left hook, four is your right hook, five is your left uppercut. Three, four, five. Three, four, five. Same game with our circle, with our shuffle, and our double jab at the end. So come in, three, four, five, double jab, exit, shuffle around, hands up, zip in on the right, double jab as you step left, circle around, keep those feet moving, zip it around, hands up while you're moving, you light on your feet, Around. Yes. Call the combo out again when you're in here. Three is your left hook. Four is your right hook. Five is your left upper. Then a double jab as you circle left. Zip out. All light on your feet. All fluid. Let's take a look at the two freaks back there doing it. So look, you loop it around. Enter in on the right side. Three, four, five. Circle left with a one jab, a double jab, one, one. Shuffle out. Loop it back around. Savage is back there doing it. I can't keep up with those paces. 
Zip it out and around. Back in. Three, four, five. Pop, pop. Shuffle. Zip it. Zip it around. Three, four, five, pop, pop. Get out. Get on that horse, get moving. Don't forget, three is your left hook. Four is your right hook. Five is your left upper. Then a double one while you step to the left. So left foot, look, when I'm throwing this one, my left foot is stepping. Step with my left foot, step my left foot again. But that would go fast like this. That's two left steps. Gotta be quick, gotta be slick. Gotta be smooth. Let's do it. Three, four, five. Out and around. Zip it. And time. Nice work. Facebook freaks, give me a fist bump. Fist bump. Give me a fist bump down there in the comments. Give me a hell yeah down there comments if you're still hanging there with us. You should be out of breath. We're not done, we're not done. I'm just giving you an excuse to catch your breath. So the next three punch combo is gonna be four, five, six. Four is the right hook, five is left upper, six is right upper. Four, five, six. So practice that a couple times. Four, five, six. Right hook, left upper, Right upper, four, five, six. We're gonna play that same game. Four, five, six, especially if you're standing in the middle of the cameras. Four, five, six. And we're gonna go with that shuffle. Let's do it. Going in, three, two, one, let's do it. Boom, boom, boom. Pop, pop of that jab. Zip it around. Zip in. Four, five, six. Pop, pop. Shuffle. Kitty's a freak. Kitty's a freak. Dip it in. Four, five, six. Don't forget, four is your right hook. Five is your left uppercut coming to the chin. Six is your right uppercut. Then step to the left for double jab. Shuffle it around. Zip it in. Full speed, breathe it out. Four, five, six. Pop, pop. Shuffle. Zip back in. Four, five, six. Pop, pop. Spray it out and around. Yes. And time! All right, we're gonna hit those same three punch combos. Those same three punch combos with our pivots. So you're gonna pivot, looping it around, same combo. Let's start with just a one, two, three. We're going right to it. One, two, three, pivot. One, two, three, pivot. Pivot. We're only gonna do a few of each. Pivot the other way. Straight, straight, hook. Pivot 90 degrees. Pivot. 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 Turn. Straight, straight hook. Time. We're gonna go right into a two, three, four. Right into a two, three, four. With those pivots. I don't care what direction you're pivoting. I don't care when you change the direction of the pivot. Just keep punching. Keep those feet moving. Two, three, four. That's a two, three, four. Pivot. Pivot on that front foot. Two, three, four. Pivot. Other direction. Make sure you mix up directions. Two, three, four. Turn. Two, three, four. Shake them, shake them, shake them.
We're going three, four, five. Come on. Three, four, five. That's hook, hook, upper. Left hook, right hook, left upper, and pivot. Three, four, five. Pivot. Pivot. Three, four, five. Pivot. Three, four, five. Turn. Three, four, five. Dig. Turn it. Three, four, five. Other direction. Three, four, five. Time. Now you're going to go four, five, six. Four, five, six. Four is your right hook. Four is your right hook. Five is your left upper. Six is right upper. Four, five, six. Pivot. 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 Four, five, six. Four is your right hook. Five is your left upper. Six is your right upper. Four, five, six. Turn. 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 Four, five, six. Turn. Hook, upper, upper. Time. All right, we're going to rotate between all those three punch combos now with our cardio set. It's going to be two squat jumps, throw the combo. So it's going to be two squat jumps, one, two, three. Two squat jumps, two, three, four. Two squat jumps, three, four, five. Two squat jumps, four, five, six. You know the punches, we've been keeping them simple just for this specific reason because so much movement, so much footwork, so much going on. Basic combos. I'll walk you through this. Two squat jumps. Let's go. Two squat jumps. Get in your stance. One, two, three. Right back to two squat jumps. Two, three, four. Two squat jumps. Three, four, five. And if you have this down, go at your own pace. Pick up the pace. Two squat jumps. And a four, five, six. Back around to the beginning. Two squat jumps. Two squat jumps. Two, three, four. Jump. Three, four, five. Jump. Four, five, six. Jump. Back to the top. One, two, three. Let's do just one squat jump here. One squat jump. I want to burn this out here towards the end. One squat jump, three punches. Let's do it. One, two, three. Two, three, four. Three, four, five. Four, five, six. Jump. One, two, three. Jump. Two, three, four. Jump. Three, four, five. Jump. Four, five, six. Burn it out one more time. Yes. Two, three, four. Three, four, five. Four, five, six. And time. Facebook. That is it. Time. We are good. Give me a fist bump for kicking ass. Give me a fist bump for hanging in there. Put a fist bump down in the comments if you made it all the way through. If you made it all the way through, if you were focused. Good job, everybody. Now high I want to go back. <laughs> Actually, with a high five. I want to go back to what I was talking about. About holding people around you accountable. It all starts. You can't hold other people accountable if you're not holding yourself accountable first. If you're not leading by example. If you're not putting in the work first. If you're not talking with your feet. Yes, I said talking with your feet. That means leadership by action, willing to do it. Willing to get some dirt under your fingernails. Willing to do the heavy lifting. And what that's gonna do is enable you to be able to hold other people accountable. If you're holding yourself accountable, you have your self-discipline. You have your shit under control. That gives you a little more right, a little more rhyme, a little more reason to be able to hold other people accountable. And no one's holding you accountable. Get a buddy, get a battle buddy. Reach out to us at Peak. Reach out to the Peak coaches. Even if you're not a member, you're here on this workout. This is free every week. We'll hold you accountable here, wherever you are in the freaking world. Everyone needs someone to hold them accountable. Everyone needs a coach. Everyone needs a guide and a mentor, especially during crazy times like this. Everyone needs it. Don't try to get through this stuff alone. Don't try to suffer in silence. Have some faith in yourself. Have some faith 
in the people around you. Have some confidence in your ability to figure shit out, to be able to get through those tough times. And it starts by holding yourself accountable, having the self-discipline. And then from there, holding other people accountable. And then asking other people to hold you accountable, to make sure you have your shit together, to make sure you're not bullshitting. That's where you need to operate. That's where you need to think. So just give me a thumbs up if I can get your commitment on that. Holding yourself accountable with some self-discipline. Give me a thumbs up. Holding others accountable around you, in your circle, your friends, your family members, your coworkers. Give me a thumbs up if you're gonna hold them accountable also. Hold yourself accountable, hold other people accountable. And number three, ask other people to hold you accountable. We are all set. Tyson, anything you wanna finish off telling them? No excuses! Very, very normal child. Can't imagine where he gets it from. If I scream like that right now, I probably will pass out, try to get that air in my lungs. I will talk to them. If you have any questions, comments, put them down below. We have an upcoming virtual six week freak body transformation challenge open to the public. So stay tuned for news coming up on that tomorrow. There'll be all kinds of posts and stuff going out. You don't want to miss it. Now more than ever, going back to that accountability piece, now more than ever, you need to be held accountable. You're stuck at home, you're quarantined. You don't know when the end is in sight. The, the end back to normal is never happening. So the time is now. If not now, then when? The time is now to start getting your shit together. So a six week body transformation challenge is coming up in the next couple weeks. I'll be putting out information out starting tomorrow so you can apply for it and reg get registered and get started. We will help you out and literally hold you by the hand and walk you through this craziness together as a team, someone to hold you accountable, someone to keep, make sure you maintain your discipline and you keep your commitments to yourself, to your family, to your fitness. That's what you need. So it's coming soon, so stay tuned for that. I will talk to you later. You are freaking awesome. No excuses. No excuses.